It is Sunday morning, time for another episode of Sell and Pass Your Expiration Date, being thrifty over 50. My thing is way out of way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm your one host, Jay. And I'm Peg, and we have and to say... We should probably say at the beginning of every episode is, we're mother and son, in case you don't know. Because yeah. you know, I, I, I can imagine people who are not in our circles who are searching... Um, YouTube for shows to watch about selling, or especially an older person looking for a show about selling. They might just have no clue why we're together, but uh, that's my mom. I'm her son. Yep. Uh, you definitely know by the Mama's Boy segment, but until that point, you might not know. Right, 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 right. Now, we're, we're both on cloud nine because our Cleveland Indians are rocking it. Woo! We are so excited. I mean, my goodness. We, uh, we are, we are so a- dominating. We're going to win the whole thing. I know. Sorry, Cub fans, if you're out there, but we're coming to get you. <laughs> so what was the stat? The Blue Jays scored 22 runs in their first playoff games, and they've scored one run in the next two? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Yes. One run. Yes, yeah. right? Yeah. Hold on, one run. I know. Yeah. I mean, I really thought it was going to be a, uh, a little bit more runs on their end, but uh, we have been dominating the, uh, the, their uh, their, their, their guys. I mean, our bullpen has been outstanding, as well as our starting pitchers. So, yeah, we're very excited here in Cleveland, needless to say. Oh, yeah. We actually have two professional teams now. Yay! I know. I mean, if the tribe should go all the way, I don't think Cleveland can handle two championships in one year. Oh, my it's, God. It's been dry for so long here, everybody. I mean, over a million people season. showed up for the Cavs parade. If the Indians pull it off. Oh, yeah. I think it'll be, it'll be even bigger. I really do. I really do. Because now, here's my dilemma, Ma. Uh-oh. Here's my dilemma. I'm supposed to leave Chicago Tuesday morning if, by chance, Uh-oh. Chicago and Indians have in the World Series. I don't know where they would play the first game, but the first game is that night. So if it's in Chicago. Oh, you better change your tickets. Well, <laughs> Stacy can't because of work, but she's like, you can stay behind. So I might have to talk to some friends who I'll be seeing next week in Chicago because you and I are both going to Chicago for an event I'm speaking yes. at called Ecom Chicago. Yeah. I'll get on a plane Tuesday morning with a with an Indians game Tuesday night in Chicago. I know. <laughs> I know. I mean, we're already, you know, looking for tickets because, uh, you know, I, I have to be at least at one game. Have to be. Have to be there for my brother, for my dad. You know, there were huge fans on my dad because I was the oldest in our family. Uh, my dad started taking me to the Indians games when I was five, which was the last time the Indians won in 1948. So, uh, and, and I know the Cubbies is longer. They're 1907, I believe it is. And uh, and I, I would, yes, I want to win, but if the Cubs should happen to maybe beat us, I would be very thrilled for the Cubs as well because it, it, 1907, the poor guys, you know. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Now, if the Cubs don't pull it out and we play the Dodgers, the week following Chicago, I'm in L.A. Oh, my so, God. Four days. So, so, you know, I got a shot of seeing maybe one game of the World Series uh, when we make it. So, right. uh, yeah. And a little more spark, sports shout out. I mean, I know you guys know I'm a sports fanatic. Uh, glad to see that the Buckeyes squeaked it out last night. Yep. And my local uh, high school, where Jason and I both went to school, Chardon High School, is now 9 0. 8 0. 8 0. 8 8 games. Two more to go. So they're undefeated this season. So, boy, I'm just surrounded by a lot of good sports teams right now, except the Browns. Duh. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, the Clowns. So speaking of that, uh, before we get into our topic today, so uh, next or this week, uh, Mom and I both go to Chicago for the event. Mom comes back from Chicago and takes off for the Bahamas. I come back from Chicago. I'm home for a couple days, and I take off for for L.A. So I don't think we'll have a show for two weeks. I know it's going to be a bummer. Yeah, but uh, travel schedules uh, just don't jive. So we'll be back uh, right after that. So because of that, when we get to Mama's Boy today, I dug out a uh, Halloween photo because I figured this would be our only show before Halloween. Oh, good, good, so, good. So, yeah. so make sure you stay tuned for that. All right. So why are we here today? Why? 
sure. we are talking, putting your store on sale, your business on sale, and okay. moving, moving older merchandise, which does help. Jason pushed me. <laughs> I've been wanting to do it, everybody, for quite some time. I mean, all summer I said I was going to do a sale. And, and my husband, Regan, was getting after me, says, we've got to get rid of some of this old stuff. And uh, finally, what, a week ago? Yeah, last Friday, a week ago Friday, I sat down while I was watching uh, TV, and I did it. Jason says, you can do this, Mom. I said, okay. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> you know, and it wasn't, it was not hard, everybody. I mean, I just kind of followed the, the prompts. I mean, it kind of walks you through it almost by yourself. So it wasn't bad. Jason Case did give me a couple help, helpful hints because I didn't want to put everything on sale. There's a few things in you know, my newer stuff that I wanted to keep back. So, uh, yeah, so I did good. So let's see if we can help somebody else. All right, so I, I would uh, venture a guess to say that there's kind of four ways to do to do a um, – oh, no. Oh, there we go. Four ways to do a sale. Okay. You can do everything in your store. You can do it by store category. You could do it by keyword. So it's like a group. Or you could just do one thing. So uh, I have no sales running. And uh, uh, I will show you how to uh, run all or do all those different sales. All right. Okay. So in, in your seller hub, in your seller hub. If you scroll down here uh, to the bottom right, you will see Markdown Manager. Mm -hmm. It is right here. And so click on that. So before we even get into it, how many of you watching right now have never ran a sale? Is there anyone watching right now that has never ran a sale? Uh, and if you don't have a store, you can't. So no need to say me if you don't have a store. But if you have a store, if you, if you never run a sale. Jason, do you have to have a store to run a sale? All right, bringing the block out early. I just said if you don't have a store, you can't run a sale. Oh, I am sorry, honey. You, you cut out a couple. Oh, did I? And then your follow-up was, hey, and Jay, I... can you let run? <laughs> Already. So, so if you're listening, no, no. that sounds like mom just had a stroke right there. <laughs> no, I, I didn't hear it. That's why. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was quick. Uh, all right, so we do have we do have one person who's never on a sale, and okay. uh, uh, Ann asked me if I ever played football. I played football for one year, and then I messed my back up three times in six months, and that was the end of my football career. But I had fun. Yeah. All right, so somebody said they started their, they just started their store, so not yet. And somebody else said they're getting their store on the first. All right, so we have some some people here that can definitely uh, benefit. So, and then those of you who've run a sale, when when I'm done. Have you explored all the options I'm about to show you? So let me know when I'm done, because to me they just seem commonplace, but maybe maybe not to you. So I don't know. You know, you do things for so long, you're like, well, duh, that's how it works. But how it works because you've done it forever. Somebody's new to it, they don't know. Oh yeah, you know, I mean, I I got a little nervous. I got a little nervous. Oh, we're getting feedback. Oh, when uh, when I start when I start. What do we do here? I'm hearing myself back. Uh, I don't hear any feedback, so. Okay, well, I'll keep talking. So you can plug in headphones. That always stop the feedback. Yeah, all right. Um, because what I wanted to do was go through, um, I, I was doing a 25% off of all my items, except those that I did not want to include. So I had to kind of sit down and go through, you know, my whole list. I have over, I, I'm around 700 items now listed. So uh, it took a little while, but, you know, hey, when you're sitting there doing TV, you zip right through it. It wasn't that bad. All right, so they hear feedback from you too. So, okay, you know, it went away, Jason. It was there, but now it's gone. All right, so before we plug in headphones, uh, starting from this moment, do you still hear feedback? Say something, mother. I do not. No, I do not. Does the audience hear feedback? That's what I'm concerned about. Okay. Let me know. Let stop. me know. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. Let us okay. know if it starts again. I'll keep an eye on it. Okay. Okay. So let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is. You just want to run a sale on one item. So obviously you're going to click create sale. That should seem pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. And choose a title for your sale. So I'm going to, I'm going to put a chair I have uh, um, in my eBay store for sale. So I'm just going to call it chair. Now, I, I, didn't, I didn't catch this, but apparently people had uh, don't understand military time. Here's the easiest way to figure out military time. Just minus 12 hours. So oh, as I never you can, 
I don't I didn't I don't even think I knew that. <laughs> you know what I do? Oh my god, you married you married to an army man. Yeah, but I didn't know it would be minus twelve hours. So what yes. I what I do so, I call, so 1409, if you minus 12 hours, is 209 in the afternoon. Oh, minus 12 hours. Okay. Because I always call dad and say, what, what is this now? Since your dad was in the middle. No. Yeah. So minus 12 hours. Oh, my gosh. What a tip. Hmm. Hang on. What happened? Appears I'm not sharing the screen. I can see it. No, I know. It's weird. I, I, I'm watching the feed. I don't see... Uh, Right. See it, huh? So let's see. There we go. All right, weird. Okay, cool. Um, yes, so all you do is tw minus 12 hours. The reason they do that is so you don't get confused with AM, PM, you know, exactly. Military time is exact because it goes from 0 to 24, uh, 2359. So 2359 is 1159. 0 is midnight. And then it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then 1 p.m. is 13. So, uh, easy peasy. Somebody said they have a chart printout. You don't really need a chart. Just minus 12 hours. And that tells you what time it is in the afternoon or the evening. Yep. Okay. So, for whatever reason, eBay presets it for two hours ahead of where you're at. So, we don't need that. So, I'm going to back it up to it's noon and uh, 12, 11 right now. So, I'll do 12, 13. And let's say I run it for a week. Uh and I want to offer 10% off. So you go down here, you choose your discount, 10% off. Now you also, if you notice the next one down, you can do a discount the original price by a set amount. So you can do like $5 off or $10 off. And then our options down here are add all listings from a category, add all fixed price listings, add all auction style listings or select listings individually. So for this one, we're going to do individually. And then we're just going to look for the keyword in our title. So I'm looking for my chair. And there's my chair. So it's $1,000. So I'm going to click on that one. And then right below it, you see continue. And then you scroll down here and create your sale. And that's it. So I in a minute. I know. I know. It's so easy. I mean, mine took a while because I was... You know, doing my whole store. But, uh, yeah, that's how simple is that. So, in a minute, my chair will be on sale for 10% off. So, that is one way. Uh, and the reason I did that is if you are running a sale on an item and you want to run a sale on, say, your whole store, but you don't want that one item. Like, say, say I did 50% off my whole store. But I didn't want 50% off that chair. Now that I got that chair on sale, when I run the next sale, it won't allow this one to change because that one's already in a sale. It's locked into a sale. So I did, I did not know that. Good to know. Now, somebody said they didn't know you may start it two hours later. It doesn't matter. You could start your, your, your sale two hours later. You can start your sale at any time you want. But usually when I go to start a sale, I just want to start it right now. Just do it right now. You know, I don't need okay. to wait two hours. I'm going to start a sale. I'm going to start a sale. All right, so let's see. Uh, let me see if it's all ready to rock and roll here. Oops. I might have uh, shot myself in the foot. So let's see real quick. <laughs> I maybe should have given it another minute longer. Didn't pop up right, right yet, huh? Yeah, well, we're going to see here in about two seconds. Okay. No, it's a great question from uh, Nelly. Okay. Sale created items chosen. Now, when you list new items, are they included? Nope. What did she ask? things that. So, if, so that. If you list oh. something new. Oh, yeah. Okay. Jason, talk. I don't hear you. Yeah, I wasn't talking. There we go. Oh. Yep, it worked. So, there. Okay. My chair is now 10% off. It is now $900. Yeah. So, if you're going to list new things, you want to run a sale, run your sale, and then go start with some new things. Because you typically don't want to. You don't want to put your new things right on sale. You, you right. shouldn't need to. Yep. All right. So let's go Let's go back to our sale. Let's create another sale. And this time, let's do it by category. So let's, let me throw all my Halloween stuff on sale because whatever I got left, I want to start trying to get it out of here because yep. that's coming up fast. Yeah, I think I will do that after we're done today. Good idea. Yeah. So I'll give myself a couple minutes of leeway here just in case. And again, I want to run it for a week. And I want to get rid of my... Halloween stuff, so let's do 30% off. And this time, we're going to do it by a category. So we're going to check the box next to add all listings from a category. 
and I have a holiday category right here. So that'll be actually, I have a few Christmas things up. They'll, they'll get caught in the sale, but that's fine. There's nothing exciting. Now I do have then, a my, mine separate, Jason. I have a Halloween uh, uh, um, segment, and I have I have Christmas. I I have kept those separate. So when I made my, my yeah, category. I have a sub I have a subcategory, but yeah. Okay. So as you can see right here, there is 19 items in my uh, ha um, holiday category in my store. So in two minutes, those will all be on sale for 30 percent off. Okay. Very nice. So somebody's asking if I find a week works best. Uh, it depends. Sometimes I'll run weekend sales. Sometimes I'll run week sales. But I'm always running sales. I'm always doing stuff because people will get emails that you're running a sale. Uh, people will get notifications that the thing they're in their watch list is now discounted. Mm -hmm. uh, people see that it's a sale. They get excited. Whoa, sale. You know. <laughs> All right, let me ask you this. Yeah. If I was to run my sale because I'm going to be gone Thursday in Chicago, should I just run it for like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah, you know, and then hopefully, you know, everything will be done by the time I leave on Thursday. Okay. That's what I'll do. Yep. All right. So, uh, what, what, what time do we say that we say that for another minute? Uh, so yeah, so that, um, yeah. So right now this, uh, costume was 34 99 in about a minute. It'll kick over to thirty percent off, and then we'll see we'll see that reflection uh, of the sale. All right, so far so good. All right, let's create another sale, and I've got tons of jeans listed, so let's move some jeans. We'll call it jeans. Uh, let's see here, give me a couple minutes, and again we'll do a week, and let's knock my jeans off by a third. Get people all excited about the sale. My ghost is here. Just knocks something over. Uh, and then, so we're going to select listings individually again. The last time we went for one item, we went for a chair because I had one chair. Mm -hmm. And so, keywords in the title, I'm going to put jeans and search. So, I have 65 things that match jeans. So I got some overalls. I got tons of Levi's. I got some Jenkos, uh, all kinds of stuff, and uh, some shorts. So I really don't care. So I want I want them all on sale. So as you can see, right, and they found sixty five things right at the top. You click that checkbox, checks them all off. Scroll to the bottom. Now, now if you want to remove one thing, just go like this. Click off. This isn't really jeans. This is a Mickey Mouse uh, apron that has the word the name Jean on it. So I'll take that one off. So click continue and create your sale. Yeah, that's, so that's what that's, mom did. Yeah, because I had because because I was doing my entire store, I was going through page after page, and then as it popped up, I you know I would look on that page to see if there's anything I wanted to omit, and then I just you know unclicked it. So yeah, but yeah. it wasn't hard at all. All right, uh, I don't know how many sales you can create in your store at a time. We're gonna do four in mine today, but I've never usually I do like just big group ones. So yeah, uh, yeah and you can uh, great question, Ella. You can cancel a sale after it starts. And I'll show you that in a second. I won't cancel any of mine, but I'll show you how to do it. Uh, so let's say we want to cancel the sale on our chair. If you go over here to uh, edit. Okay. And click clear listings. Okay. Like that, uh, all, all listings associated with the sale will be removed from the sale. Are you sure you want to clear all your listings? You click okay. You still have to create your sale. But essentially, you're creating your sale with nothing in it. So now my chair is off sale. That sale is still running, so to speak, but there's nothing in the sale. So that chair is off sale. It's back to $1,000. Uh -huh. well, I did. I've not done that yet, in case I ever wanted to cancel. Yep. All right. So our our costume was thirty four ninety nine. Now they're 30% off. Oh, didn't run yet. Not yet. Get our denim one running. Uh, ah, just change it to 1220. Oh, come on, slow. I, I'm surprised you haven't sold that costume yet. I love that costume. Well, I did. And then they decided not to pay. No, oh, Boo. Yeah, Boo was right. Yeah. All 
All right. So, and then the last one, uh, 10, 16, yeah. So the last one would be, let's put the whole store on sale. And so let's put it all on sale, 25% off. So I just, I'll call it 25% off. And we will give us a couple minutes here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, all fixed price listings, which is this one right here. And then click continue or create your sale. I mean. Oops, forgot to give it a discount. See? Oh, yeah. Stop here. So there we go. Let's try that again. Oh, my gosh. End date. No, oh, the minimum duration of the sale is one day. Yeah. Huh? yeah right. I needed to adjust that. Let's see, eBay will stop you from doing dumb stuff. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, as soon as you make a mistake, it's going to pop up. In fact, I did have a couple of things that I had to go back and clear up. And, uh, you know, it wasn't hard. It's not hard on everybody, really. Don't be afraid. As we as we say constantly on this show, if I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm not the best. So David said you'd like to do a sale to limit sale to items $20 or more. And I think you could, David, if you do this. Yeah, see price range right here, David. So if you go 20 to 50 and then click search, there, I have 1600, uh, 1600, 617 items that are 20 to $20 and above. So you could do it even, you know, you can go 50 to 100. Wow, that's cool. See what I got? Got 121 items. So yeah, David, David, you could definitely do that. Uh, you can definitely find your highest price items and just put those on sale. So, you know, there's a lot of variety. A lot of variety. You just have to play with it more. You know, I mean, it's right there. Yep. Yeah. So there you go. And I, I run sales all the time. Like I said, I, I price my stuff higher than normal. And that way, when people make best offers, you know, if they make a 20% less best offer, it's still a good amount for me. So if I run a 25% off sale, it's not really a sale, you know, compared to what I think I need to get for this item. So uh, there you go. Yeah, like I said last week, I ran my sale over the weekend. I went Friday to Sunday night. And uh, in that, uh, well, it was Friday night when I did it. So it really was like a two-day sale. And uh, I think we sold around uh, 10, 15 items over the weekend. So that was good for me. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah, cool. That's it. That's how, you run, that's, that's how you run a sale. Yeah, yeah. Not too hard, everybody. Any other questions out there? Oops. Anyone at all? It's weird. Ever since that uh, hiccup last, uh, last week, uh, my the computer I control the show with has changed. <laughs> Very weird. Oh, my goodness. All right. Yeah, that's it. So let's move on. Okay. See, it's not that hard. Super easy. Run your sales. And uh, and you'll get an email. It'll say, hey, your, your sale has been uh, created. Yep. Created and started. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can go from there. Easy peasy, as we say, right? Yeah. Easy peasy. Yeah. It is. It's not that bad. I mean, and, and if I would have realized how easy it was, I would have done a lot more summer sales. I was very... Uh, uh, hesitant to do it, and after I, I sat down and did I said, oh, my God, this is so simple. So, you know, I will do be doing more sales, that's for sure, especially the Halloween one. I'm going to get that done and see if I can move a few more of the pieces that I've got left. So give that a whirl. Yeah, yeah. Anytime anytime you are running up to a holiday and you've got holiday stuff, keep running those sales. Get rid of that stuff. Yep. Run it right, you know, Christmas, run a sale on your Christmas stuff that day for next week because people will buy Christmas stuff the week of. Uh, the week of, you know, after Christmas even passed, because a lot of times they'll go to a friend's house or, you know, they'll, see, they'll yeah. listen to some music. Like, I'll just buy it now for next year. Yeah, they do. And don't forget, they just got Christmas money, probably, a lot of them, and uh, they're out there shopping. Yep. All righty. Let me pick you up here for a second. Let me get okay. uh, our, I forgot to get our non play graphic up, but it seems All right. lost. <laughs> Any other questions in the chat? Uh, let's see here. Very easy. Does the type of store you have determine the number of sale items you can have? Nope. 
all stores run the exact same way, other than obviously the higher store level, the more free listings you get. Free listings. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, but you know, in terms of the the inter workings of the store, no, it all, it all runs the same way. Pretty much. Maybe one thing we should yeah. mention: those right. of you who have a store, um, don't forget your free shipping supplies from eBay. Get your order in. Oh yeah. Yep. Good tip. Mm -hmm. Which I have to do myself, but uh, I was very late on getting our last one in, so I got to decide what I want out of the new batch coming up. And then right now, they have um, they have holiday-themed packing materials. It's got like little snowflakes on it and stuff. So. Yeah, I know. I want to get some of those, definitely. There it is. Man, I don't know why I couldn't find this graphic today. Yeah, okay. All right. So in between uh, the two halves of our show, we do a little segment called... I, I dig out old photos of myself when I was cute and had hair and no beard. <laughs> Jason, now, it, it, that picture of Mama's Boy is not popping up on my screen. I mean, I can see it down below. Does that mean the other people are not seeing it right away? No, Just, they're seeing it. They're seeing it. Okay. Just want to make sure. Okay. Yep. All right. So, scenes now is just about Halloween, and I don't think we're having a show before Halloween. I had... Um, Mom actually had brought up this picture the other day to me, and I already had it locked and loaded and ready for the show. <laughs> so here I am. I am uh, I am four. Uh, four? Going Probably. on five. Wait a minute. It was November 1974, so I'm three going on four. Four, oh, right. So here <laughs> I am. I love this picture. <laughs> yeah. Here I am as a clown, and... <laughs> Uh, Stacy and I are doing something fun on Halloween, and even before all these crazy clown sightings have happened, I already, I already determined I was going to be a very scary clown. So, uh -huh. are you ready for my outfit this year? Oh God, what so do we got? From 1974 to 2016, I've changed uh -huh. just a little bit. Oh my God, Jason! <laughs> so I'm going to go to this bar slash restaurant with no shirt, with my oh, creepy clown no. mask and my overalls on. And uh, I'm going to add a little uh, white paint to my chest. Like I was trying to paint my whole body and then I gave up. You know, and here's, here's the scary thing. Of, from your first picture, I still have that mask. <laughs> wow. After all these years. It was always such a good one. You know, one, yeah. that one I didn't get rid of. So I still have that mask. So yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my eyes in blue so they'll totally disappear into this mask. I'll yep. do the rest of my face white. And I'll start to do down here white and then just give up. Like, I just, like, screw it. I'm going to go be creepy clown. Are there any uh, Halloween contests you can enter? That's, a, that's really well, a good costume. Know, like, specifically telling you to wear costumes. I actually am going to double check with them. I'm going to say, hey, uh, my costume includes no shirt. Is that a problem? Oh, yeah, right, right. I will double <laughs> check. And I do have kind of a redneck sleeveless shirt that if uh -huh. I have to wear it, it'll still be a, a good outfit, you know. Where's your, where's your party? Where are you heading? Uh, L.A., remember? Uh, you cut out. I didn't hear you. L.A.? L.A. Oh, yeah, in L.A. Oh, yeah, wow. Oh, yeah, that, it's wild there, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, those are good, honey. Real good. And, and I want to get a little squeaky horn. <laughs> but I want to put a little oh, hole in yeah. it, so hopefully it sounds like... <laughs> 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 yeah, so that should be quite fun. Good. Very good. All right, now it's time for Mom's Scores of the Week. So let me get those Ooh, up here. Okay. And uh, so we'll do that. Goodies. And uh, here we go. Okay. Which one is first? Where are we? Oh, Harley Davidson shirt. Sure. Oh, the Harley Davidson. Okay, I just showed this to you guys uh, a week ago. Um, and, you know, I know Harleys aren't moving as quickly as they used to, and I was even leery on this one because it was from Cleveland. But it is celebrating a 75-year anniversary. So I thought, well, that might be catchy. Um, we paid $2.79 for it. And I, got, I didn't go high-high because I, they're not selling as much as they used to. So uh, I got my asking price of the $24.99. Uh, I don't even think my hands were off the keys and it sold. That was one of those that you know somebody was looking for that. And it was an immediate sale. And I just laughed. I said, good God, I just, I just put it on the shelf. <laughs> So that was good. Yeah, and a tiki mug. I mean, you know, 
this particular tiki mug with the handle, as I know we've had discussions uh, in the group about tiki mugs with and without handles. This one definitely has the, the handle. It was a, It's an orchids of Hawaii from Japan with the pore spout. And, uh, you know, the reason I took a nice offer of 17 because it's been in my store for quite some time. And I only paid 50 cents for it. So I thought $17, still a nice return. So, you know, I don't give up on this. It's so I mean, a nice vintage mug. It is very common and not real sought after. So right, right. You get seventeen bucks was very nice. Yeah, that's what I thought too because it's not one of those rare types, you know. Oh, the bottom, yeah. And typically, and typically that this mug was made by a lot of people. Actually, typically you don't see the orchids of Hawaii, so you lucked out by having it say orchids right. of Hawaii made yeah. by a bunch of. Uh, right. gift yeah. If it didn't have that, I would not have bought it because you know I, that was my selling point, really. Uh, those of you know who I, I had bought a bunch of uh, pennants of different uh, sports teams, and the New York Yankee one. Uh, I took the I took the uh, seven dollar offer because at this point, I just want to move them out. And I, as I told you guys before, I only paid thirty three cents a piece for these, so uh, I took the seven dollar offer. I said, "Oh yeah, no, I've already made my money, so I'm just trying to move them out." Uh, I know this is a, a a brand that we've talked about. This is Big Dogs. Um, which isn't a huge seller, but, you know, it was a, a big size. It was just an extra large, but it's a big dog size, which is bigger than a normal extra large. And uh, we got a, a, an offer here of uh, $16.99. Uh, let's see, what did I pay for that? Paid 3 bucks for that shirt. So, you know, uh, that was good for me. Um, Bye-bye. Anything that moves. Hey, yeah. I <laughs> and I know we talked about it in the past, but uh, since somebody asked, let's refresh everyone, how do you ship your pendants? Oh, uh, Dasma, actually, the last one that he just uh, did, he wraps them up in a noodle. You know, he takes it around the noodle and, and puts the noodle around it real carefully. Gee, I should have taken a picture of that. Next time we ship one, I, yep. I will take a picture so Thank we can put it up. Yeah, I mean, video, and make sure your phone is this way, not this way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Dad's been very creative with those, and apparently it's working because we've gotten, you know, good feedback uh, from everyone uh, in regards to the – they're shipping on those pennants. So, yeah, it's quite unique. I, I will, I will we'll film it next time for sure. Okay. <laughs> I just told Jason, I can't believe these sold as fast as they did. This was another fast sale because I thought my husband's picture was horrible. You see the bottom of the red on the, on the tapes blends right into the red tablecloth. Yeah. yeah. It's like they're melting. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, a, round brown, a brown wooden turntable that I have told him to use on many occasions when you have the same color. <sighs> he gets lazy, I guess. I mean, I don't do pictures at all, so I can't complain, but I am complaining. Yes, you can. You're the boss. Yeah, that, that one was real bad. Uh, we bought all six of these for a buck, and I got an offer of $14, and uh, that was good for me. Goodbye. Out the door. All right. Uh, you know, I, I, I we talked about my uh, Department 56s here. I uh, bought those, what, a couple weeks ago, so we got a decent offer. I only paid $5 each for these, and uh, $34.99 sounded really good to me, so out that went. And and those have been, uh, 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 being, uh, we are shipping these all FedEx Smart Post, everybody. I know we've talked a lot about that, but, you know, these are heavy. They're two pounds and over, most of them, and uh, definitely want to save some money on that. So that was the Red Lion Pub. The Dickens Village. I think I showed this just last week, if I recall, Jason. My Wallace uh, China plate. Uh, so, someone wanted this even quicker than the, uh, the other item that I said sold so fast. I barely had this listed, and my phone went off uh, of an offer of $35. Um, this is a Wallace China plate. As you can see, it says Saddle in Surrey Ranch in Tucson, Arizona. Someone was looking for that a specific plate, apparently. Uh, maybe to go with the set they already have, or they broke one, or who knows what. But I paid um, $2.50 for that plate, and your father even said to me, why are you buying that? I said, no, no, <laughs> these Western plates sell it. I have seen them move from time to time. And uh, I thought that was a very generous offer of the $35, so we took that one. That was nice, you know. Going back to these, we've had uh, these matchbooks uh, up for sale for quite some time. Um, but, you know, I, I, you're, people are probably saying, oh, God, you're dealing with items under $10. When you actually paid almost nothing, less than a penny per item, yeah. 
Yeah, I, it's well worth my time and effort for $6.50 sale. And they did go out of the country, so I made a few bucks on the shipping. Uh, they ended up going to Germany, I believe. So remember we talked about international shipping last week. Everybody should be doing it. I hope you are. So yeah, so yeah. I, 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 I don't... I don't keep myself from not doing items that are under $10. I mean, if I can make money and a great profit on a re return of maybe six cents, how can you hate that? <laughs> All right, what else we got? Oh, this, I, I, I'm, I'm, I was really surprised that this finally sold. Um, this is a Tory Richard uh, Hawaiian miniature with the pink Cadillac. I want, Jason, would I... When I have been allowed to put Elvis in that title, I didn't because I was afraid you'd come no. Was Elvis on his shirt? No, no, of course not. No, so, yeah, that's why I just used the pink Cadillac uh, term. How long ago did you take these pictures? Pardon, honey? How long ago did you take these? How, long, how old is this oh. listing? Oh, yeah, this is old. This has been around for, um, it could be a year. I'm not even sure. I right, say three pictures, a little too skimpy there, Ma. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, see, honey, this was from a while ago. You know, I didn't do any close-ups. Yeah, yep. this was... This was an old timer, but let's see. What did I pay for that? I paid three dollars and fifty cents, and we got forty bucks for it. Nice. Yeah. Uh, the, I, the, I had to show this one. <laughs> you know the old life I method. This <laughs> this listing has been listed for four years. <laughs> I couldn't believe it because when I went to pull out the price tag that we always keep in the pocket of what we spent. It was from uh, 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 a thrift store in Chicago. I know exactly which thrift store because I know their tags were well. And it was dated May 2012. And I said, oh, my God. So you never know, folks, when something's going to sell. Uh, we uh, let's see, that, that shirt, I bought it for $2.45, and I was thrilled to sell it for $13 after four years. Oh, my God. Can you believe but it? In case you missed it, you said it's the, uh, the, the lifey method, which is – uh, oh, yeah. List it and forget it. L I F I. List it and forget it. Uh, you know, something's four years on the shirt being listed. You probably could have got rid of it a long time ago oh, and redonated it, but you sold it. So hey. And as you can see, at that point, your father was uh, on his outdoor kick of doing pictures. So yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh. So yeah, not, not too bad this week. Pretty good sales. Cool. Yeah. All right. Oh, so, I lost you. Uh, those of you who've turned in, you're going to get a bonus haul. Not only will we show Mom's haul from this week, yeah. I'm in garage sale yesterday, and since I'm not going to have any normal shows for the next two weeks, I'm going to show you the few goodies I got from the garage sale. So, so you, bonus, you get a little bonus mini haul. Yeah. Mini. That's good. This is good. All right. I'll show mine first, and then okay. we'll get to yours. All right. So, these people were, I uh, went to the garage sale where. I know they had tons of uh, Tommy Bahama stuff, mostly plain shirts. Uh huh. Um, and they spun me the bullshit. They're like, "Yes, don't wear them anymore." No one has this many of the same color. Like, you you, you picked them up wholesale somewhere. I don't care, but right. don't give me that crap because they had purses and sports coats, and I'm like, "No, oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't want these at all." Uh -huh. Liar. But they said five a piece, and I, I grabbed two of the best. And he goes, "I'll tell you what, three for ten. Like, oh, okay. So oh, wait, yeah. wait to see the three I got for ten. P pretty good. Oh, no. Am I gonna drool? Yep. Oh boy. Uh, so here it is, premium rum uh, embroidered shirt. Oh, oh, Jason, that's a nice one. Yeah, especially oh. embroidered, because the embroidered, as we have said, uh, in case you guys have missed it, the embroideds are selling uh, much better now than the uh, the, the flowered prints. So that was three dollars and thirty-three cents. Yep, nice. Uh, this was my next Tommy. <laughs> And these these always do well no matter when. So if you find any Tommies of the holidays, they always do well. Oh, I know. I've got some of Dad's in the closet. Oh, that's a nice print, Jace. And it's a more modern one because I've never seen this. It, it's embroidered season greetings by the tag. Oh, oh, that's very nice. Yeah, that so is definitely. This is also three dollars and thirty three cents. Now both yeah. of these, I'm probably going to put up for like seventy five dollars or so. Are you, you going to go shoot that high? Uh, okay, all right. Sorry, somebody just said I was in a little pick. So I'm sorry, my bad. Right. What happened? I was, in the, oh. I was in the little picture. I fixed it. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Holiday Tommy Bahama. I think I fixed it. Yep. And then okay. this is the um, And then I uh, took a left and went to Nat Nast. If you don't know Nat Nast, it's a great brand. 
It's the brand that uh, before Charlie Sheen went insane when he used to be on Two and a Half Men. That's the uh, brand he wore. Usually, it's just kind of bowling shirts with kind of like maybe a little crisscross diamond yeah. pattern or something. This one was very unique. It was surfboards. Oh, how nice is that? And it oh, says it says Mavericks on it, which is a place that only the best of the best can surf. Oh wow, that's a cool. Shirt. And then it says uh, K twenty two, which I think is another surf place. So. Three dollars and thirty-three cents. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna do well with those. Those are very nice prints, Jace. I mean, I, I really, I like those a lot. Uh oh. Now, at, uh, I haven't bought any of these in a while, but what caught my eye? Uh, cross stitch stuff. Mm -hmm. What caught my eye was this one because I've sold this finished. I have found this one finished and framed, and I sold it before. So uh -huh. these were these were a dollar. So I got this. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Very good price. Uh, the ship one. Oh, ships sell well, Jason. They always do. You can make a, a needle point choo choo train. Huh? <laughs> I like it. Uh, another winter scene. Obviously, a great time of year for that. Uh huh. A uh, little autumn mill pond. A little old school action. Oh, I had that one. I had that one once. Oh, yeah. Teddy bears yeah. on a rocking horse. Cute. And uh, floral, so they're a buck each. And they, as I'm buying them, and this goes to show you that not everyone wants to sell on eBay, knows about selling on eBay. He looks at me and goes, "Oh, I so miss your show." Oh, he goes, "I love thrift hunters." So he knows I, and he knows I buy these. So yeah, for a buck a piece, he knows I'm going to put them on eBay, get like twenty, twenty-five bucks for it. Yeah, well, some people don't want to be bothered with it, you know. They just want to clear it out of their house. And then at his garage sale, also for two dollars. Oh. <laughs> Official Margaritaville to chill state of mind uh, wooden plaque with the original yeah. $22 price sticker on it. From, nice. From Margaritaville store. And I always yeah. sell these for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. So. Really? Is that what you get for those suckers? Nice. Yeah. And then, actually, the first sale we stopped at, I found this. This is not being sold. This is staying here at the house. Uh-oh. Is that is that tin or wood? Nice. Yeah. So this was three whole dollars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stay in here. Yeah. And then I figured I'll buy this one to flip. Uh, Hendrix Gin. Oh, very nice. Yeah. That's yeah, a good buy. Yeah. It's a real good buy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So the garage sales uh, treated us well. And then someday you will hear uh, on my other show, Thrifty Business with JNA, the ultimate uh, thrifty encounter story. It involved the police. Oh, and, nice. not, and not the band fronted by Sting, the actual Henderson Police Department. So. Oh. Stay tuned someday in the near future for that story. Oh, yeah, but write that one down. Don't forget it now. <laughs> oh, don't you worry. <laughs> oh, no. But yeah. I haven't heard this either, folks, so he's kept it from mom. <laughs> and just to let you know, the police did not come for me. <laughs> yeah. right. Okay, thank God. Phew. Yeah, they, okay. they're not coming for me. <laughs> All right, so that's my mini haul. I found some cool stuff, you know, garage sales are, you know, are, you know especially here in, in this state. Now's the best time to garage sale. The weather's not hot anymore. Right. You know, they're, they're, they're plentiful. And I don't know if it's a day, but October 15th, yesterday, every community around us had their community sales. So I don't know if every community plans on October 15th as the day. Um, and we got a late start, unfortunately, because we had a friend stay over. But there's community yeah. sales everywhere yesterday. I love community sales. I mean, it, it, that is so nice when you, when you go to those. Ours are always earlier in the year here. Uh, they they like to do theirs early, early on, and they, they usually start in June with their community sales because, boy, it's nice to go up and down the street when there's a bunch of houses having garage sales. So that's always fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody said cliffhanger. Oh, yeah, that's a cliffhanger. Yeah, that sure is. You got me me thinking. Do I get uh, do I get a little sneak preview later? Coach, <laughs> Coach, Mom's calling you. Come here, buddy. Oh, is that Tochi? Is that my Tochi, buddy? Uh, hang on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he made up already. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. No, I forgot. Uh, there's Cutie Pie. There's Cutie Pie. There's, there's your grandbaby. Hey, baby doll. <laughs> All right. That's enough. No. All right. Um, do you want Mom to start? Are you finished or do you have more? Come on. Come see Mom. Come on, buddy. Come see Mom. <laughs> Come get him. Come get him. All right. I know. All right. You're up. I'm up? Okay. All right. I, I was a little nervous this week because... Um, I had a cousin pass away this week, so it's been kind of a rough week. And um, 
I didn't know if we were going to get out to go sourcing, but uh, gosh, we, we happened to squeak it out after my granddaughter's soccer game yesterday morning, and we hit a few in uh, an area not too far from where we live, and I had, a few, I had good luck. Otherwise, I wasn't going to have a whole lot to show you. Um, okay. Don't have the original box, but I've got the original board and the game. I mean, you all know this game, yes, Twister? So does it sell out the box? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I okay. looked it up. Uh, it's, this is dated 1966, everybody. And I actually played this game and fractured my wrist playing this game. <laughs> right back when. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Don't yeah. Yourself, do not play Twister with mom. She's not no, there. it was terrible. I mean, you, you you get in such awkward positions trying to play the doggone game, and uh, and I did hurt myself. But yeah, without the board game, I paid fifty cents for it. So I figured, well, for fifty cents, I'm going to take a chance. But between ten and fifteen dollars without you know the actual uh, a, a game box that it came in. But uh, yeah, so you know the the, uh, the plastic is in perfect condition, so that was good. Um. Jason, I don't even know if you have this. I paid 50 cents for this beauty. Uh, I didn't have that, actually. Yeah, oops, let me get over there. And uh, Dad's, uh, Dad looked this up already, and uh, he wants me to put it up for around 22 bucks. That's okay. some reason you find a robot all of a sudden. Yeah, it, it, says, it says the complete visual dictionary of Star Wars. There's a lot of great pictures in this, um, you know, from uh, the original, so that was kind of nice. Uh, saw these for a quarter, and they are selling Jack Skellington socks from uh, Nightmare uh, Before Christmas. And so uh, they're selling for around 10 bucks, Chase. So, you know, I can do it. Then, I wasn't sure about this item, but I said, oh, you know, you ready? Oh. <laughs> ready. Hello, this is Clementine Bell. One of the North Pole elves. We can't talk right now, but check back on December 1st. Now, that, that will repeat every day until you hit the 1st of December, and then it starts counting it down for the kids. This was a quarter. It was in the quarter box. Uh, but these are getting, let's see, where's my list? These are averaging around 15 bucks, even without the box. So, you know, that do it. Um, went to a church rummage sale that was doing nothing but clothing, and out of the corner of my eye, I spied this little gem. Now, Jason, I don't know what is Stacy need any more dresses. This might fit her, but it's got uh, maybe that's pretty nice. Yeah, it is. This is really cute. Liberty House, very nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Liberty House is uh, before everybody is uh, the department store that used to be in the shopping center called the Ala Moana. Uh, shopping center and they're no longer there so liberty house tags are good uh, there's no size here jace but maybe i could take measurements if stacy is interested yeah let mom know it's really cute love the colors on that okay hey, did um, you say cleveland was in the hunt today the browns they were for a while <laughs> yeah 30 uh, 28 13 that ain't no hunt that is them going oh and at one point it was 14 to 13 they are so horrible. All right. Now, uh, uh, I'm going to ask the chat room to see if they know what these are. I'm pretty sure my son knows what these are, but I'm going to ask the chat room if anybody knows what these are. Uh, I do know that. I, I, don't, I don't know the proper name. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I know exactly what they are, but I, I don't know the proper name. And they're yeah. not giant yeah. testicles. No. Is anybody guessing at all? Do we have any guesses before I say what, we, what I've got here? They're, they're, they're two separate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and do we have any guesses at all? Uh, poi balls, is that what they're called? That is correct. Annette Ross Rossiter takes it with poi oh, balls. Oh, my buddy, my buddy. I'll see you soon, Annette. <laughs> yes, these were poi balls. Eskimo yo-yo, no idea, ribbon pole. Conkers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I had to throw this out there. It was funny. They were hanging underneath her tent. I almost missed them. Uh, well, I did miss them the first go through. And she used to be a Hawaiian dancer. And uh, she said that, that, you know, she used these all the time in her shows. But I have a feeling those are staying at mom's house. Uh, Dad found this brand new tie. 
holiday tradition with you know with the snowman on it and that, that was a whole quarter so you know we'll be getting this up actually the original price tag is still on here everybody uh, these aren't cheap when they first start $29.50 wow. I know, I know. So, about that um, Jason I, I, I have to show this to you this came from flower child it's a keeper though can you see that yeah that's pretty awesome I know uh, I, I had to talk your father into buying it. Uh, I said, you need this shirt. We're leaving you for the Bahamas. Now, what I found interesting, Jason, what's the original tag? Sorry, sorry. You weren't going to buy it? Yeah, he wasn't oh, going to wow. buy it. I, I know. Now, look at that. How much did they have on it? Oh, I paid 26 for it. That's not bad. No, no it wasn't awful. I mean, they could have a Bahamian shirt and you're going to the Bahamas in two weeks? I know. I know. I mean, and it's so cool. And Jason, it's brand new. Because it's still got the tag on it, honey. This has never been worn. So that was the keeper. Um, let's see. Speaking of uh, Charlie Sheen, kind of, along those lines. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but now this, and I, Dad knew this this name. I did not. Jason, do you know who Bobby Chan is? Yep. Okay. For those of you who don't know, apparently he's some super-duper poker player. Yep. So this is a Bobby Chan shirt. And we paid three dollars and thirty cents for it, and Dad wants me to put it up for thirty four ninety nine. You think I should go any higher, Chase? I don't know. I, I've never seen a Bobby Chan shirt, so I mean, obviously, yeah. do a little research. I completed yeah. and sold, but I mean, that's important. Yeah, yeah Dad, Dad did. You know, he looked him up to see what what they were going for and all that good stuff. So, um, let's see here. Okay, as I told you guys, I'm always on the lookout for old amusement park memorabilia, and one in our area called Jogga Lake. That's closed and long gone, and um, this was also they had they had the wild water uh, water kingdom there, and these are those the you know mugs that you freeze and they keep your drink. Oh, cool. They had three of them. Okay. None are listed like this. This particular one is there's no listings right now, Jason. But they got all three for a dollar. You had seventy five cents a piece. They also have the original sticker on the bottom like the one does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They originally sold for nine ninety five. Whoops. Oh. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah. So hopefully, uh, now, is there, there's no problem in shipping these because they have liquid, is there? Does that have to go brown? No. No? Okay. Wasn't sure. Wasn't sure. Unless, it, unless it liquid's going to burst into flames. Yeah, no, no, no. No. Um, I picked this mug up, uh, you know, one of those that uh, it's called Potpourri Press, uh, made in Korea, dated 1987. I thought this was, you know, a lot of people like their animals for holiday time. And this is quite, actually, it's quite pretty. It's oh, yeah. really a different look. So I picked that up for 50 cents. I'm walking 50 cents. All right. Is Nadine in the chat today by any chance, Jason? I don't think so because she's got so much going on before we leave. Yeah. Okay. Right in our uh, presentation, you know. At, uh, this is the last garage sale we stopped at yesterday. And this woman had... Um, a bunch of beautiful shoes, and this pair is brand new. Okay, here I'll get one out here. This is a uh, Calvin Klein. Okay, brand new, a size six. Still got the original tag inside this shoe for seventy bucks. Wow, nice. Yeah, and I bought three pair from her, and I, I offered, <laughs> I offered her five dollars. She said, "Oh, I can't go five. How about ten? So for the three pair, so you're looking at three dollars and thirty three cents per pair that I'm showing you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh the next one here, these are Liz Clybourne's. Nice. And and as you can see, I mean we're talking like brand new shoes here, everyone, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And one thing I always check to everybody, always check the heel. Because that's where you know most of the scuffs are gonna happen, you know, if they have been worn. So that was that. And then the last pair. Our coaches, real cute mule slip on. You know, it's got kind of a straw band here, and again, a little bit of wear, but not that much. And the heels were in very, very good condition. So I haven't, done, I haven't bought any shoes in quite a while. So for three dollars and thirty-three cents a pair, like your shirts, you, you have to do it, right? Yeah, no so, kidding. Yeah, so I'll have to get those up as soon as I can. All right, now <laughs> I know we kind of been talking about items that you know aren't selling so much anymore. But there were nine of these at the same place where I just bought the shoes from this lady. 
But I had to pick them up because of, I've never heard of some of these places. These are Starbucks mugs, everyone. And this is from Wales. Okay. Uh, you look them up yet? Uh, uh, yes, actually, Dad went through the whole list. Uh, we have United Kingdom. You no, know, and then you got the red telephone booth, which is always cute. Oh, I don't know. Well, this one is dated 1999, Jay. Yeah, those are old. All right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's see what this one is. Well, this one's a little newer, 2001, but that's still 15 years old, you know? Okay, then we have just England here. And it's got the coat of arms on it. And this one is dated 2002. Okay. Uh, this is London, that Big Ben. So apparently they must have been vacationing over there, you know what I mean? Yeah, this one is dated 2000. And here's Scotland. Yeah, the countries is what kind of drew me because I thought, well, this is also 1999, Jay. What's okay. uh, Did you say what you paid? I'm going to tell you as soon as I get through. Okay, the I'm sure. I know. Okay, as a, yeah, as a, this is Mexico City. So they hopped from uh, the UK down to Mexico City. Yep, yep, and this is 2002. And now this one is a little different look to it. Um, this is from De Detroit, Jason. Detroit, you see that? Oh, what year is that? Yeah. Um, and this one, oh boy, let me look here. It should have a year on it. Ooh, I can barely see it. 2003, okay. And, gee, this place is, looks familiar. Hmm, have I ever been there? <laughs> <laughs> but I like these picture ones. I have not seen this type of picture one. Have you, Jason? Did you saw any of these? No, me neither. I thought they were kind of different. This is 2000. No, oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Can't see. Mom needs to besides I, That one's too tiny. 2005 <laughs> on that one. And then the last one, and she just threw it in. It's a beautiful mug. Nice. Is it, uh, is, it, is it raised? It is raised. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's quite quite nice. And um, date on that one now. So totally, everybody. I have nine mugs. I got them for five dollars. <laughs> I know. I know. And that was the main reason for buying it because you know um, at, at that price, I, I I could not pass them up. What is that? It works out to fifty five cents a piece. So, you know, you just couldn't pass them up. If I sell them for $10 a piece, I would be happy. But according to, to Dad's research, um, let's see. The one from Wales, around 30 bucks. He wants me to list it. The United Kingdom, 30 bucks. Scotland, he's got 25 I still might put 30 on that. Because that's, those are nineteen ninety nine. you know what I mean? Yep. Uh, the yep. Las, Las Vegas one, maybe $10. Bucks. Um, I don't know. Should I start like fourteen ninety five? What would you do, Jay? Oh, it depends what they're selling for, but yeah, um, yeah. What's, what's the Mexico City one? No, only, Dad says only nine ninety nine. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, I better I better review that one. Uh, well, London Big Ben. <laughs> yeah, I know London Big Ben. He's only got eight dollars down here, so you know I will have to check. But you know he, he you know he he does pretty good most of the time. So I think, let's see, is that it, everybody? I think that is the haul. So, yeah, I'm a little bit leery because when we do come back to our show, I don't know if I'm going to have time to go sourcing. So we might have to uh, come up with another uh, idea of what we can do for a segment for everybody. I think that's you know? confusing the smaller cups with the bigger cups. Oh, you think so, honey? Well, think that's there, the there's both here. And so, like, the Mexico City, I see itself for 5 and for 15. So, of course, and then 20... Who would ever waste their time on a breakable for five dollars? Please, no kidding. If you're watching our show, it takes just as long to lift a hundred dollar breakable item as it does a five dollar breakable item. Stop listing five dollar yep. breakable items. It's not worth your time. What do you make after a five dollar item? Now, if you, I, I'll list a five dollar CD. If I buy a whole collection, I can knock out CDs really quick on Amazon. And Amazon, uh -huh. what they pay for shipping, I get a buck or so for shipping. So that's worth my time because it is so quick. But to take yeah. pictures of a breakable, to pack a breakable, uh, it just, it's just way too much time involved for no reward. Yeah, yeah. So no so, more $5 so breakable. 
No, 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 no. Well, you know, for 55 cents a piece, I just bought the whole lot. Oh, right. Yeah, so. but what I'm saying is you're going to shoot higher. The person who shot for five bucks and only got five bucks, that's silly. Right. That's just a waste of your time. Yeah. No, you have to shoot higher because in most cases, they all, you know, do offer you a, a, a bid, usually quite lower than what you, you know, you're asking. So, you know, you got to start high, everybody, because you want to try and at least get around the price that you have in mind that, it, you know, you want in your pocket. Yeah. So hopefully that'll help. Yeah. All right. That's it. So that, top of the hour. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. What do you got? But what? What do you got? I thought you were done. No, no, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, because you started said, and then, like, where are you going? Yeah, I, I was looking to see if I'd missed anything, but no, we got it all. Okay. Okay. All right, cool. So uh, do us a favor. Uh, come down here and subscribe. Come over here and click like, please. That'd be much appreciated. Appreciated. Yeah. And uh, like I said, we'll be off for a couple weeks. Now, uh, I do another show. My friend Nadine's called Thrifty Business with Jay and Name. I We are speaking at the Ecom Chicago event this Saturday. And so the goal is to do a live show from there. So now, not only are we doing it on stage, we'll be doing it at on YouTube. And we'll know Thursday night if the Wi-Fi is strong enough. So I'll let you all know Thursday night. And if not, we'll be off for maybe about two weeks, but we'll be back. We'll be back with good shows. And hey, mom, can you bring your computer? Uh, yeah, I could. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I need yeah, multiple yeah. computers and if yours is the same as mine. It'll be just as okay. easy to run. I will do All right, that cool. Way. So yeah, so I'll see you. Mommy, I'll see you on Thursday. Oh, no, I can't wait. Hey. <laughs> you know, I, we, I, we do get to see each other pretty often, but, you know, it's still a long distance relationship with uh, mom and son, and uh, I miss my kid. Always good to yeah. be with him. <laughs> All right, cool. Yo. So for selling past your expiration date, being thrifty over 50, I'm Jay. I'm Peg, and go tribe. And we're gone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.